What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a brand new bit of software from Microsoft that's actually relatively that's actually relatively exciting. This optional piece of software is called Deb Home. Now, the great part about this is that it lets you centralize all of your GitHub workflows, such as issues, pull requests, SSH connections, which is actually really cool, as well as monitoring your systems, such as CPU, GPU memory, and network performance. Usually, I leave Task Manager open rely on GitHub desktop for at least looking at my projects and SSH connections I manage with Visual Studio Code, but it's nice to have everything set up in one centralized place. On top of this, you can use the machine configuration tool to set up our development environment on a new device or onboard a new dev project. We can also use Dev Home extensions to set up widgets that display developer specific information, create and share our own custom built extensions, and of course, create a dev drive to store our projects, files, and Git repositories. Now, this last one is the most exciting part about the project, and of course, it doesn't work on my system. You need the latest version of Windows 11 Insider Developer in order to try using Dev Drives. Dev Drives, essentially, they're virtual hard drives created somewhere on your disk with a very special file system. This is REFS, essentially copying and certain actions are sped up huge amounts as they're creating references instead of actually copying files. Long story short, it can speed up your development time by about 14 or 15 percent and a further 14 or 15 percent by placing your package cache and things like that on those drives. So you can speed up your build times by 28 percent, which is absolutely huge, especially when you're working on giant monolithic projects. But of course, that'll have to be a video for another day. At least for now, I can show you what Dev Home is. You can install this on any version of Windows. It doesn't need to be the latest cutting edge bug ridden build. All you need to do is click install Dev Home if you follow the article link in the description down below, which will take you to aka.ms slash Dev Home, one word. This will open up the Microsoft App Store where we can download the app. Otherwise, you can search for this in the store, search for Dev Home, select the one from Microsoft and download it or open it. When Dev Home opens, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. What we can do is add widgets on the dashboard, such as monitoring our GPU usage, memory usage, network usage, and CPU usage. These, of course, could be useful for you, and you can pin them one at a time. So I've added all of the important things up here. Maybe I'll add my network as well. And now something actually really interesting is the SSH keychain. When we specify a config file, such as this one here, we can pin it or click the load button, then pin it, and you should see a bunch of hosts here. Now, if we simply click one of these, it'll open up a new terminal, and inside of this terminal, it'll create a brand new SSH connection to that server. So running NeoFetch, for example, you can see I'm connected to an Ubuntu server. Server here. Awesome. On top of this, we can also customize the size of these widgets by clicking three dots, setting as small where we can scroll and large to make them extra long, but medium is the default and probably where you'll want to leave most of these. Now, this is pretty cool, but the most interesting features of this are, of course, dev drive, which I can't show you, and adding widgets for GitHub. Now, usually whenever you want to look at reviews, requested issues, pull requests, comments and things like that, mentioning you and tasks assigned to you, you'll either need to rely on email notifications, mobile push notifications if you got the app installed, or of course, going to the GitHub website. But when you have Dev Home installed, you'll get all of these centralized in your Dev Home dashboard here. So if I sign in with GitHub, I'll be taken to my browser, I can confirm my login, and just like that, we've now connected it. So reviews are requested, there's nothing here for me. Issues, I can choose a repository here. So for example, github.com slash technome.com slash technome ack switcher for techno account switcher adding this it adds my project where i can pin it and just like that i can see issues dates etc and clicking on these will open up my browser taking me straight to them hopefully simplifying our developer experience we can also add pull requests for whatever repositories, comments, issues and pull requests mentioning you, or just pull requests, or just issues, and of course, tasks assigned to you. Now, there's not usually many things that I'd leave here. This is about as busy as mine would get, but they 
did mention extensions. Now, with Dev Home extensions, currently we only have the GitHub extension, but I'm pretty sure there'll be more extensions coming at some stage in the future. We can build our own custom Dev Home extensions by following this GitHub repo, and we should be able to add our own projects here, etc. Obviously, this will take quite a bit of know how. But assuming you'd like to get something done, you could probably do it here. If you head into machine configuration, we get to that part about installing programs that we mentioned earlier, such as end-to-end -end setup here, where we can clone repositories. So for example, I'll clone my own one here into repos, and this will easily allow us to clone a bunch of different repositories. But of course, if you have something like GitHub Desktop, you can use that as well. If we head to install applications by clicking next, we can search through a bunch of suggested apps and install them very easily. So for example, Android Studio, Putty, .NET SDK, Sublime Text, Vim, all the way through to 7-Zip and Visual Studio, etc. Finally, review and finish. I haven't actually changed anything, so nothing is going to install on my PC. Then we have a configuration file, where as far as I understand, we can automate this installation process and setting up of our environment, though this would really only be useful for enterprise applications, I'm pretty sure. Then at the very bottom, we have the two options we already covered, cloning repos and installing apps. Finally, in the bottom left, we have feedback for obvious feedback, a quick crash course on introducing Dev Home, and of course, creating a dev drive that I currently can't do. When I click it, it pulls up my settings, and you should see at the very top, create a VHDX for virtual hard drive, or create a dev drive, but these options are absent for me, even though I'm running on the latest cutting edge Windows Insider program dev branch update. So that's pretty sad, but anyways, maybe switching to Canary would fix this, but I don't think I want to deal with those issues. So for the most part, that's really it for this quick guide. Thank you for watching. You'll find links to all of these in the description down below. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.